Hey, it's Thursday, the last day of November, the 30th. Thomas Miller on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a pretty short episode. I know you're saying, oh, yeah, yeah, you say that all the time, and it's 19 minutes long. No, this one really is going to be short, I promise, because we've basically covered everything that's in the chart. There's nothing today in the sky. There are some things over the weekend. We will do that tomorrow on December 1st. But meanwhile, I wanted to point out one lunar aspect that you might want to play with today. The moon is in Cancer. It is at home. It is heightened intuitive awareness. Whatever house Cancer rules in your chart, that area of your life should be governed by intuition. Makes all the difference in the world. Had a reading with somebody who was a Cancer rising this week and actually had a south node in Capricorn, which I always say is that's moving from your head to the heart-driven life of the north node in Cancer, the rising sign of Cancer. So for her, it was not only an area of her life, it was literally her whole life. About 15 years ago, I did so much work to change everything in my life. But I will tell you, Looking back, the one thing that made the biggest difference, the highest value change, was learning to live by intuition. I had to negotiate. I had to deal with monkey mind. See, there's Mercury in that square to Neptune. Neptune wants to take you up into the clouds, and Mercury wants to pull you right back down. I say back down. I mean at least back into the realm of the physical reality of which we are experiencing planet Earth, right? Yeah, but you've done this in the past. Yeah, but this is what happens when you take that kind of action. Da 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 monkey mind. But our infinite soul, the one represented by the moon, is the one that sees around the corner. It knows where lost objects are in your home. It knows whether you should get on an airplane or not. It knows whether you should take this route or that route on the road, if you so ask. Every time I've had a challenge in traffic or driving or an accident or a ticket or whatever, because I didn't ask. But now it's 90-something percent driven by that intuition. Today, that sensitivity is more heightened with the moon in Cancer. Now, the one aspect you might want to play with today happens at 4.20 this afternoon Eastern Time. So you'd want to catch it a little bit before that if you want to play around with this. The moon sextiles Uranus. Remember Noel Till's definition of Uranus? It's brilliant. It's highly intellectual. It's bzzzt. <laughs> so if you want some bzzzt in something going on in your life this afternoon, try 420 Eastern. Back it up to your own time. Or if not, turn your phone off and see you at 520 Eastern. <laughs> right? Like, I'm not touching anything right now. But there's your setup du jour. That's for today. Like, focus on living from intuition. It also gives you a chance, if you missed a couple of things this week, go back and catch up on them. We have a sign change tomorrow. You know that? Mercury does change signs. It's in Sagittarius now. And then we'll put the rest of the weekend together tomorrow. Have a great day. I'll see you back on TGI Friday.